All right, well, this is the final walkthrough on a house uh, you know, that we just completed. But I wanted to show you what's going on with this concrete here. Can you see all of these little white, they're really like light spots, ridges and stuff? Well, that when our grinders passed over this floor, it actually started shaving down those humps. They're, what you're looking at is this uh, floor with thousands of little micro high spots that have been ground down to the surrounding little darker gray areas, like right in through here, like that, into the surrounding low areas. So this creates an overall flatter floor, but it leaves the floor looking extremely mottled. Um, and the reason that it looks like this is because while the concrete was still green, people workmen were on top of this floor. And so every time people would take a step, the heel of their foot would make a small little dent in the concrete, which would push it down just slightly, but it would also bulge it up around their heel. Um, and cr that's what would create these little low spots and all these little high spots. You can probably see it a lot better in this lighting right in through here. So this gives you an even better idea. So I, I get a lot of folks that you know, call me up and say, hey, when I'm all done grinding my, grinding my concrete or thin set off, will I be able to stain the floor? Well, it depends upon if you're looking for the industrial look, but if you wanna go on and try to make it more uniform, there's just so much more work that would have to go into this at this point. Um, So anyway, that kind of just shows a little bit about what concrete does, and that concrete really is not flat under most circumstances. It's just usually a series of hundreds, if not thousands, of little micro high spots and little low spots on the floor.